So, just to talk about uh, the Brownian motion, we say that, sometimes we say that the Brownian motion is the only process, only process with stationary and uh, independent increments stationary increment as well as independent increment and uh, this is the process which is also having the continuous sample path so this is one way we can very well define the brownian motion these three characteristics are present primarily in the brownian motion alone because when i am saying some bt is the value of the process which is following a brownian motion at time t what we are simply are saying is the increments are stationary which means the the increment the value of a process at time t minus the value of the process at time s the older value this is primarily dependent on the time difference alone it is not different it is nowhere dependent on neither the value of bs nor the value of bt it is primarily dependent on the time difference alone so it's actually a uh, follows this uh, this will also follow the increment bt minus bs actually uh, follows uh, a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a variance equal to t minus s means uh, the the process is purely dependent only on the time difference and not anything else Similarly, when I am saying independent increment, the increment is nowhere dependent on the previous value at all. Let us say BR is a value of, of the process before BS. There is no dependency on the earlier values at all. It is completely independent. The increment that is coming from last period to this period, this is completely independent. And when I am saying any possible value can typically come up and that is where we are saying the path is a continuous uh, sample path. So, for each uh, realization, we are seeing it as a continuous function of uh, the time t itself. So, whenever we are seeing these kind of things being met, we are calling it as uh, a Brownian motion and generally uh, the, as we have seen earlier also this bt and when we are talking about uh, this mean being 0, the mean being 0 here is another uh, example of the, uh, this particular process being a martingale as well. Because the expected value of the process, expected value of the future, when I am defining the martingale, we said the expected value of the future is uh, it can be determined based on the current values uh, itself. Expected value of a process at a future time point uh, can be determined uh, uh, or is equivalent to that uh, of the current uh, value of the process itself. Mean there is no drift when there is no drift that is uh, coming as a part of the process. We are calling uh, that kind of a process to be a martingale and what we are seeing is the Brownian motion is following uh, even a martingale kind of a process as well, right? But when we are talking about this Brownian motion, this is the standard Brownian motion. But in general, when I am talking about a general Brownian motion, we have seen that uh, this will follow a normal distribution with a with a mean of uh, mu t and a variance equal to sigma squared times t minus s this also mu times t minus s uh, where mu is the drift and sigma squared is the volatility of the process so uh, if a general brownian motion is there it follows a stationary independent uh, increment uh, 
which is dependent purely on t minus s but not on the any of the earlier values of the process that is how we can summarize the brownian motion in in uh, a few simple statements all right